Hey folks, Matt from ArtOfTheImage.com. I have a viewer question from KB2CWN, that's their YouTube handle. Uh, have a question, just upgraded from a D5300 to a D72. I'm keeping both cameras and want to keep the 18 to 105 on the D5300 and purchase a new lens for the D7200. I have my eye on two, which lens would you recommend? The Tamron 17 to 50 millimeter VC or the Sigma 17 to 50 millimeter OS? I have read and seen mixed reviews on both lenses. Seems the lens hood on the Sigma won't stay put and the sharpness has taken a hit on the Tamron since the VC was introduced to that lens. Has Sigma corrected the hood issue? The Tamron is about $50 or so more than the Sigma, yet I have read more favorable reviews on the Sigma side. Autofocus is quieter than the Tamron, etc. Any advice? Well, actually, I went through this whole issue myself and did an experiments with both lenses and purchased uh, both lenses. I've owned the Sigma 17 to 50 OS for both Canon and Nikon, and I love it. Conversely, I've owned the Tamron uh, 17 to 50 millimeter, I guess it's the VC, for both Canon and Nikon, and I hated it. Uh, I wanted to like it, I really did. Uh, I went through four copies uh, trying to get some sh uh, sh a sharp one. F2.8 sharp is what I wanted. Uh, you know, at, at 5.6 or F8 or whatever, it was fine. But it was, I could not get, it was always out of focus at F2.8. I don't know if it was back focusing or front focusing, but it did it on both my Nikon and my Canon bodies at the time. Uh, so I gave up on it and just returned it. Two of those lenses actually had gone back to Tamron and they tried to dial it in. And uh, it didn't, uh, they came back still. Uh, very unsharp at F2.8. Unacceptably so. Like you couldn't use the photos. So... Uh, I washed my hands in Tamron and I'm gun shy of them ever since. Um, the Sigma, on the other hand, functioned amazing. F2.8 sharp as a tack. The Sigma is better. I've owned both the Nikon uh, version of that Sigma. Like this, what is the Nikon? 17-55 F2.8, I think, non-image stabilized. So you get an advantage with Sigma. And then I've had the uh, Canon version, which is image stabilized. Uh, both the Nikon and Canon version are, most, are, are nice lenses. But the Sigma is better. It actually is sharper at f2.8, performs better. It's got image stabilization, which you don't get on the Nikon, and it's cheaper. So I wholeheartedly recommend the Sigma 17 to 50 OS. It's one of my favorite lenses. Um, it gives you a beautiful f2.8 zoom. It's the best standard zoom in f2.8 zoom for um, any DSLR. So that's my recommendation. Go with it. Um, you guys out there, other viewers, what do you think? Um, have you shot with both? Do your experiences mimic mine? Are you one of the people that have been happy with the Tamron? Leave some comments below. We'll have a discussion. Thanks for tuning in. Stay tuned. We'll be right back here at artoftheimage.com. Thanks.